everyone, it's Kathy and welcome to today's Core Strong Workout. Today we're going to do a triple total core. So we're gonna target the core from a standing position, we're gonna target it on our knees from a kneeling position, and then we're going to do some floor traditional core work. Um, so three different ways. So it's gonna be very functional and it's gonna be fun. All right, so let's get started with our quick warm up. So let's ground the feet. Let's roll the shoulders back. Let's pull the belly in. Let's come into a nice, strong core positioning. Again, always thinking of that core, always engaging that belly, pulling those shoulders back. All right, so we get some nice, good posture work as well. And let's get ready here. So we're gonna bring both hands up, grounding those feet. Take a little bit wider stance. We're going to go to the right side and we're gonna bring that knee out, oblique tap, and then we're gonna reach for the ankle. Now we're gonna switch. So it's crunch to the side, and then a reach towards that ankle. So a crunch and a reach. So even when we bring that leg out straight, you're reaching for that ankle. So you really kind of want to elongate that arm and reach, kind of dig in to, that, to the sides of your waistline and reach. Now it doesn't matter how high your leg comes or if you touch it or not, it's just working within your parameters and starting to feel that body just really warming up here. Good, and reach. Perfect. So when we extend the levers, our legs, our core has to work a little bit harder through space to get towards that uh, body part. Keep going. Good, and reach. Good, we're gonna do one more each way like this. Nice work, excellent. Now we're just gonna come into the center here and crunch and crunch. So I want you just to tuck the elbows in as you pull the knee up, rounding through that spine so you're crunching in. So let's side of you, crunch, crunch, good. Pull in, good. So I want you to keep a, kind of think of a tennis ball under your chin. The work's coming from that belly and from that lower half, you got it. We're gonna do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll out those arms, shake it out. Crossing those hands in front, take a nice wide stance. We're just gonna pivot here and twist. So think of the elbow coming behind you, really adding a little pressure or a little rotation work. So put something behind this twist. Twist, twist, good, out, nice. Awesome, now I want you to extend the arms long, so reach it out, reach. Just twisting for eight, for seven, for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, roll it out. So we're gonna come into a little bouncing forward fault. So pulling the belly in, coming up onto one leg. So grounding that stationary foot, softening your knee. You're going to reach forward, hit a bouncing off that stationary leg. And we're going to hold and squeeze on position here. Now pull the abs in, ground to that foot, and bring that leg out and kick. Beautiful. Reach it out, balance and kick. So with each fold, core strong, don't collapse that chest. Reach, I like to have my thumbs coming towards the sky. Nice work. We're only gonna do two more here, and then we're gonna switch sides. Excellent, here we go, last one right here. Awesome, good. Now we just want you to hold that knee opposite hand and hold. Bring that opposite arm up. Grab a nice inhale and let's release it and do the other side. All right, so ground the foot, lift it up nice and strong, fold the body, reach forward, coming all the way up and extend that heel and kick, just following it through. So all I want you down here is just to kind of get the flow of this. Good. Practicing, pulling the belly in, grounding that foot, 
Not collapsing that chest, keeping those shoulders pinned back. So your last two. So when you, you want to kind of opposition that body, so the leg comes back, the arms come long and forward, and then kick it out. Beautiful. Now holding it here, opposite hand, bring it up and hold. Good job. And release it. We're just going to go into a quick little rainbow pivot here for just let's do 10 of these. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Roll out those shoulders. All right, we're going to get started with our warm up. Ah, warm up. We just did the warm up. Boop. All right, so we're going to get started with our workout, starting with some balancing core. Let's just go into a quick shoulder roll here. Quick little hug with the knee, and we're going to get started here. All right, so we're going to do everything on one side, and then go to the other side. All right, so taking your right leg, once you just extend it back long behind you, brace the abs, pull the shoulders back. Now that same arm of that leg is gonna come forward. So you're gonna kind of be in an opposition here. What we're gonna do is we're going to tuck that elbow in towards that knee. We're gonna pull it in, and then we're gonna extend. Now you have two options. You can extend, bringing the toe to the floor, or you can extend, bringing that leg straight back behind you. All right, depends on how your fitness ability, your balance, if you need a chair, perfect, grab one. All right, so here we go. Tap it back beyond, arms nice and long, core's engaged, shoulders are back. Here we go. Tuck it in and extend. Tuck it in and extend. Beautiful, in and extend. So remember when you extend, it's a full extension front, full extension back. Now again, you can tap that floor if that's what you need. Grounding your foot into the floor, extend, tuck it in, you've got two more. Nice work, this is your last one here, like this. Beautiful, now bring that leg out to the side, same, on positioning, arm is gonna go overhead, we're gonna crunch to the side. Again, tapping the floor or keeping the foot elevated. Up to you. Here we go. Now, slow and easy. Knee is coming up towards the sky. Good. Getting a nice oblique crunch here. And because we are on one leg, our core is kicking in harder to stabilize us. Soften the leg you're standing on. Don't lean forward. Keep that chest strong. Awesome. Don't forget to reach with that opposition arm overhead. Last four. Last three. Last two. And one. Nice. Now, we're going to take that same arm back up. Toe out, leg out to the side. This one, we're just going to straighten it up. Again, options. Toe to the floor or keep the toe off the floor. Here we go. Last round. Balance. Again, you need something to hold on to, you grab it. Soften the leg you're standing on. Now you should be starting to feel a little fire into that standing leg glute. Reach. So crunch is coming right here. Beautiful, come on. Nice work, come on, breathe it out. Big opposition with that arm overhead. Last eight, seven, six, beautiful. Five, I'm feeling my glute, four, Three, two, and one. Yeah, a little fire. All right, so staying on that same side, I want you to lift that knee up. So ground through the foot, pull the, the abs in, roll the shoulders back. Now lift that knee. You're going to take your opposite hand onto the opposite side of the outside of that knee. Now the opposite arm is going to come forward. We're just going to hold here. Now we're going to play with some tracking. We mean we're going to trace and follow our hand. So I want you just to bring your hand up and see if you can just tr track it to the sky. Good, now you're gonna bring it back center. Whew, it's okay if your toe touches the floor. All right, ground it up. Now we're just gonna open to the side. We're gonna come back to center. 
All right, now we're gonna try to go all the way behind us. And coming back to center. So we're gonna kind of repeat that in a flow. We're up, we're center. We're all the way up and back. Woo! And coming back to center. All right, so here we go. Up, center, open, center, reach, center. Oh, see how I have to touch the floor? Good. Now we're just gonna stay with the opening close. So open back, five, four, three, two, ah, fight, and one. Haha, <laughs> shake it out. So give me some compressions here. And we have one more exercise on that knee before we change sides. So we're gonna come into a little balanced uh, reach, uh, forward fold is what I'm talking about, a forward balancing reach. So we're gonna reach all the way forward. We're gonna tuck in with that knee, so elbows are gonna come close to the body, and then we're gonna fully extend. So we're gonna balance and extend, and then we're gonna add some pulses at the very end. All right, so let's curl the shoulders, abs are in. Leg is soft, so knee soften the leg, ground through the foot. Forward fold. Next stays in line with your shoulders. Here we go. Tuck it in and extend. Tuck it in and extend. Now keep those elbows close to your rib cage and extend. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale. Press. Beautiful. Balancing, gripping the floor with your foot. You've got four. You've got three. You've got two. Nice work, we're gonna do one more tuck. Now extend, arms are pulsing, leg is pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. You feeling that booty? Yeah, so guess what? We're switching sides, woo! All right, same exact thing, other side. So tap that leg straight back behind you, Core engage, shoulders back, same arm. All right, we're gonna tuck and extend. Here we go. Tuck it in and extend. So you wanna grip that floor with your foot. So I really like doing core work without shoes on. So we can really kind of feel that floor beneath our foot and grip. So even when we do have shoes on, we do balance work, we can actually grip the floor even with our shoe on. Come on, pull in and extend. Tuck it in. Don't collapse that chest. Nice strong extension. Remember your back foot can touch the floor or you can balance the whole time. You can hold on to something if you need to. Come on, last two and last one. Nice, okay, come on up, leg to the side. Arm is up, we're gonna oblique it to the side. Here we go, crunch, crunch. Now really extend that arm. Now, your balance might have been good on one side, and then you get to the other and you're like, what? Why can't I do this? That is perfectly normal. So we want to make sure both, we want to get to the point where both sides are just smooth, that we can't tell a difference between them. Come on, reach. Are you starting to feel that stationary leg, the leg that is supporting you? Yeah. Good, keep breathing here. Good, knee points to the sky, nice work. You got two more from here. One and two, ha. Huh? Compression it out, so we're gonna do that straight leg reach, okay? So roll it out, legs gonna come back out to the side, soften that knee, core strong, arm up overhead, here we go. So again, tapping the floor is fine, but if you can find a little bit of a balance, that'd be awesome, come on. Chair is perfectly fine. Maybe you come to a wall or maybe your couch, whatever. It's all about getting the work done. Doesn't matter if you have to hold on to something. What matters is that you can do this and find a modification that works for you if this level isn't working. 
Again, it's about focusing on what you can do, not what you can't. Good, keep going here. Nice. Last three. Last two, Ooh. and last one, ha. Huh. So take note of what is challenging you and then maybe revisit them at a later time. Okay, so pull the knee in, pull the abs in, take that opposite hand, cross it up and hold. You're just gonna bring that arm forward and then we're gonna bring it up. Tracking that hand, again, grounding that foot, nice strong posture and coming back. Now, if the tracking isn't work for you, just holding that arm. So we're gonna go right out to the side Nice, so we're gonna come back to center. Now we're gonna take it all the way behind us. So slow and easy. Beautiful, we're just gonna come forward. All right, so we're gonna combine those three. Here we go, we're gonna go straight up. Straight down. Out to the side. Beautiful, and now we're gonna take it open all the way behind us. We're gonna do one more like that. So here we go, we're gonna go up. We're gonna come down. We're gonna go right out to the side. We're gonna come back to center. Don't forget your breath, you're gonna take it all the way behind. Beautiful work, all right, now we're just gonna go into the open close flow. Here we go, open. And center. Open. Ah, what are you feeling? That was the first time. So it's really hard to talk and do this. I can feel my ankle, I can feel my my stationary leg kind of wibbling and wobbling, and that's exactly what we want to feel. All right, if this was super easy and there was no movement, that means we're really not gonna get a whole lot of benefits because our body isn't working that hard, it's already mastered it. Let's do two more. Good, here's your last one. Ah, and coming center. Good work, all right, we go to those forward folds with that knee tuck. And we're gonna end with just a little bit of a pivot cardio-ish move, and we're gonna move on to the floor. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go to that reach, for, fold, uh, forward fold and extend. So we're gonna reach forward, balancing off that leg, uh, 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 pushing, let's regroup. <laughs> I want you to ground that foot to the floor. All right, pull the abs and roll the shoulders back. Sometimes I get way too far ahead of myself. All right, so here we go. We're gonna reach forward. Now that leg can stay on the ground if it coming up isn't too much for you. And now you're going to tuck, pull those elbows in close to your side, pull it in and extend. Again, gripping the floor with your foot. Now your neck staying long, okay? So you're not uh, tucking that chin in. You're keeping kind of a distance between your chin and your chest. Kind of maybe a fist or even a tennis ball if you can think of it. Good. Come on, here we go. Are you starting to feel that stationary or static leg, the leg that is stabilizing for you? Last five here. Five, I'm burning here, by the way. Four more. Good, we got three. Two more. Then we're gonna add those pulses for 10. And one, hold it in, leg pulse, arm pulse, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Woo. four, three, two, one, fire in the hole. Yeah, whoo. All right, so we're just gonna come into a little side-to-side -side pivot action and call it a day and move down to those knees. Just gonna shake out those legs. So bring one arm to one hip, opposite leg, and now switch it out and switch. So kind of imagine you're hoisting something overhead, hip to hip. Good, come on, just working this out. Just taking a little bit of a break in the action. Good work. We have 15 seconds, out. So hip to hip, toss it over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice. Let's grab some water. Let's take it down to the floor. Nice job, okay. Woo, all right, taking it down. So I want you to come into a kneeling position. So your knees should kind of be aligned with your shoulders. All right, core is strong, roll the shoulders back. 
You're gonna cross those hands in front. Just resting your fingers on your forearms. Elbows stay lifted. We're gonna rotate to the right, and then we're gonna rotate to the left. All right, so I just want you to kind of get this rotation going on. Keeping the elbows lifted. Good. Nice. Just side to side, and I want you to really drive that elbow back. Then we're gonna add pulses on each side, two of them. One, two, one, two. So follow that elbow behind you. Good, now get your breath to the move. Good, strong posture. Awesome. Nice work, we're gonna do one more each side like this. Up. Now we're gonna go three count singles. One, two, and on the third you're gonna pulse. Two, one, two, pulse. Two, one, two, pulse. Two, come on, track that elbow, two, pulse, two. Now, if you're getting dizzy, just keep your body forward until you get to the pulse, and then look back. One, two, pulse, two, one, two, pulse, two. One more like this, one, two, pulse, two. Singles for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it out, shake it out. Breathe in and out, nice. Now, you're gonna take your left hand, you're gonna bring it up overhead. Your right hand is gonna to come towards the floor. So you're going to tilt your body to the side and try to get that hand to tap the floor. You're gonna meet your hands in the center and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. But I want you to look at the hand that's going to the sky and I want you to keep that arm in line with your shoulder. So I don't want you loosey goosey. I want you to really pay attention to the nice strong opposition. All right, so here we go. Left hand up, right hand tilts. Now looking at the hand that's to the sky, to the side. Now you're not leaning forward or sitting back. All right, so reach center. Center, 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 good. Really bend and reach. So you're popping that hip out. You're popping your opposite hip out. The arm overhead is strong in line with your shoulder. So it's not this, okay? So it's straight up, straight up. Good job, straight up. Awesome, we're gonna do four more alternates for four, for three, for two, and for one. Now we're gonna stay on the right side. So we're gonna bend to the right. You're gonna do eight on the right, eight on the left. Here we go. Eight, center, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch sides. Eight, you're always looking up towards that fingertip, seven, six, five, Four, try to touch that floor. Three, two, and one. Nice, now we're gonna advance this with a kickstand. So we're gonna take our right leg out. We're gonna reach and come back to center. All right, so we're gonna extend the same arm of the same leg. All right, and this arm is gonna like balance us onto the floor. So starting in the center, here we go. Reach and center, reach and center. So really stretch through that torso and extend and reach. We're going eight more. Seven, six, five. You should feel this on this side a little bit more than the other side. Three, two. Now I want you to hold here and one. So get a firm positioning on the floor. Arm is up overhead. Actually, you know what? Arm's gonna come forward. So we're gonna bring the leg up and we're gonna bring the leg straight back behind you and we're just gonna switch and swing. Reach and swing. Beautiful. Get a nice strong opposition here. Stretch and reach. Awesome. Breathe, keep that core strong so when we come forward, we don't wanna tip forward, right? We wanna keep that body in that nice triangle position here, good. Four, three, 
two, follow it all the way out, and one. Nice, so we're just gonna hold here, bring that arm on bubble head, and we're just going to extend and reach for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, how you doing? Six, five, four, three, two, we're gonna hold here, pulse up that leg to make the hand for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, so go ahead and just come into a little bit of, ah, oh, a little stretch here. Ah, feels so good. And reach it over. Come back up onto those knees. We're going to the other side. So remember, we're going to start with those kickstand reaches. All right, so core strong, shoulders back. Kick out the opposite leg and stretch it out and reach. Here we go. Out and in. Out, in. Out. Strong. Good. Eight. Seven. side, doesn't it? Two, hold on one. Awesome work. All right, so we're going to bring that arm out um, in front of us. We're going to go into that opposition reach. All right, so leg is lifted behind us, arm is forward, and swing, and swing, and swing. Reach. Keep that strong positioning in that little triangle pose here. Beautiful. Now the leg's gonna come up as high as you can get it, but make sure you get this reach right there in that opposition. <sighs> Try not to lean forward, keeping those shoulders back, neck long. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, and one. <laughs> I didn't follow it through, all right? Arm up, reach, reach, reach. Try not to touch the floor if possible. Reach. Come on, abs in, gazes forward. Breathe it out. Awesome work. Six, five, four, we're pulsing. Three, two, one, and hold. Leg pulses towards hand. Good work. Come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, booty, yeah? Sink down, oh, ha. Ah. Give yourself a little opposition stretch here. And let's take it to the other side. Okay, we're taking it down to some core on the floor. I'm gonna grab myself a quick little sip of water. <sighs> Woo, all right. So now we're into our third, our triple, finish here. So we're going to work the abs back onto the floor here. So in my opinion, this is kind of the least effective way to target the core. I shouldn't say least effective. It's going to be effective. It's going to work your core. But the more functional way to work your core is the standing, the kneelings, the things that really take us through everyday life. All right. So this is actually going to strengthen our core as well but our body isn't really designed to, to flex. Our spine isn't designed to flex so much, but we're gonna take really good care of that spine right now. All right, so let's take it back here. We're gonna come into a tucked position. We're gonna take those hands in front. Now, as we, we're gonna do a roll back. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come this way. So we're gonna roll back nice and tucked. Then we're gonna balance on the sit bones and we're gonna come crisscross with an oblique. And then we're gonna roll back again. All right, so here's what it looks like. You're going to roll back Balance on those sit bones, crunch, crunch, all right? Core is nice and strong, roll the shoulders back, do what you can. If it's too hard to keep that body tucked, maybe you want to just touch those knees um, and hold it back, but don't kick those legs up to the sky. Keep yourself in a nice tucked roll back position. Make the abs work, okay? So here we go, roll it back. Up. Balancing on that sit bone right here, oblique, oblique, there you go. Now, the higher those legs come to the sky, so mine are hovering off the floor because my abs can handle it. So maybe you just want to extend a kick, 
all right, instead of crunching it out. Come on, balance. Beautiful, come on, tuck it back, roll back. Pull that belly in. You're forcing your core to really work hard to get you up into that tucked uh, V-sit boat pose, come on. Ah, good job, we got two more like this. Up, we got one more and I'm noticing my body's moving. Here we go, kick it back. Now we're gonna hold here, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, how you doing? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, those last couple were burning. All right, whoo, all right, feels good. All right, so we're gonna come down into a leaned back position. So, leaning onto those forearms, we're gonna bend our knees we're gonna keep our ankles and knees in alignment. We're gonna drop our knees to the right without touching the floor. Then we're gonna drop them to the left. Now we're gonna drop them to the floor and the third time, we're just gonna extend the legs out, bend and roll back in. All right, so it's one, two. Now keep those knees and ankle, or the uh, ankles aligned with the knees here, out, in. So you're on one side of your body here. One, slow and easy. Two, here we go, three, extend in. Now imagine the tennis ball under that chin. Good, we got one more on this side here. Ha. One more three count. Beautiful. Oh, now we're just gonna drop and extend. Oh. Drop and extend. And drop and extend. Yes. Good. We got eight, seven, six. Right here, working that oblique. Five on one hip. Four, three. I love it. Two more. Yes. And last one. Oh. Whoo, lay back. Give yourself a nice hug here. Rock those knees side to side. Fantastic. All right, so pull your body back up. We're gonna come back into a leaned back position. We're gonna do something called a shovel. All right, so leaning back onto those forearms. We're gonna imagine our feet is part of a shovel. So we're going to scoop out, lift, roll down. Scoop out with those feet so you're shoveling. This is the shovel port portion right there. All right, so belly pulled in, roll back those shoulders. In and out, then we're gonna reverse the shovel, okay? Relax the shoulders. So I don't want you sunken in here. Keep those, those shoulders up and back away from your ears. Engage those ab muscles. Here we go, shovel it out. Up, tuck it in, shovel. So scooping away from your body. Ah, beautiful. Ah, watch that neck. So if you need to, you can lay down and just make the move a little bit different on your back, all right? So that's up to you and your core. Shovel it in, you've got four more, we're gonna reverse this. Three, two, and one. Nice, now up, down, pull it in and around. Just reversing, up, ah. Hello, lower ab portion, rectus abdominis, beautiful, come on. We're going four more here. Ah, three more, two more. Here's your last one. And roll back, hug your knees. All right, we've got two last exercises to focus on. Legs are nice and long. Hands are gonna come behind your head, tennis ball under your chin. All I want you to do is I want you to crunch straight up, pushing your belly button down into the floor so there's no movement through your low back. You want a nice flat back into the floor. As you do that, you're gonna bring one knee in. We're gonna alternate. So I don't want you to crunch towards the knee. I want you to crunch straight up, pushing that belly button down, pushing it into that, that spine into the floor. Here we go, three, two, one. In, switch. 
Good. Switch. Good. Really concentrate on each one. As you crunch up and that knee comes in, you are crunching upwards. Focusing on pushing that belly button down and pushing that low spine into the floor. You got it. Slow and easy wins this race. Eight more. Seven. Six. Good. Five. Four more. Four. Three. Elbows open wide. Two. You got one more. And one. Nice. Now bring those knees up. Holding your body up here. Just press through those heels. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. 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 Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Hug. All right, we got one last and final. Yes, one last and final. All right, so we're just gonna go into an isometric hold and put a little fire in the hole as if we don't already have a fire. So legs are gonna come up here, ankles in line with your knees. I want you to take the, the heels of your palm and push it into the squishy part of your leg, like below the knee, not on the knee. All right, so pull the belly in. You can either lay back down or you can keep those shoulders up to make this a little more intense. You're gonna push as hard as you can into those knees. These legs aren't moving, so if someone came by you and you wanted to kick them, you couldn't, all right? All that fire, you're locked and low, tight, tight, tight. All that movement, all that tightness is right in through here. All right, abs in, roll the shoulders back, yeah, palms into those squishy part. Grab it, inhale, push that belly button down into your spine. Roll the shoulders, now press, press, press. Inner thighs together. Flat to your feet together, pressing hard. Don't let those he heels drop. So there should be an intense little fire going on into your belly. All right, you've got 15 seconds. Now, if this is bothering your neck, bring your head down. Come on, hold it out. Press harder, even harder. Press harder, resist. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Oh boy. Hooey. All right, bring your hands out into T position and drop to your right gaze to the left. Nice, bring the knees up, drop them to the opposite, gaze to the opposite. Again, center and drop. Each time you drop, you go to the opposite side with that gaze. We're going to do four more. Three more. Two, nice, last one, right here. Nice, bring your hands underneath your knees. We're gonna come into a half spinal roll. All right, so think of this as a nice little back massage, a little butt massage, you're getting a spinal massage, no extra charge. Good, you got two more. Good, you got one more. Nice work, all right, we're gonna come into a 90-90 with those legs. So, one leg in 90. Uh, ankle, uh, heel, couldn't think of what it was, knee, opposite leg back. So I want you to rise onto that front leg, hold it, and kind of press through that pelvis and just kind of give yourself a little bit of a rotation, and then sit back down. Again, balancing up. So follow it through, kind of pop that hip out, get a little bit of a stretch right into that hip flexor, and taking it down. Again, you got two more here. Excellent. And give me one more here. Perfect. Let's crisscross feet. Let's do the same thing on the other side. 90-90. All right, so we're going to rock onto that front leg. So I kind of help myself up there a little bit. Now come into that side and kind of pop through that hip so you feel this stretch going on. All right, and then slowly extend down. Remember, you're 90-90. All right, so it's not a pretzel pose. Coming up onto that shin, hold it. Pop that hip just a bit, kind of rotate it forward. And then sink it down, we got two more. There we go. You're up. Good, you're gonna get a little stretch. Hip flexor. And last one right here. Oh, yep. 
and hold. Ooh, this one hurts a little bit. I feel this one a little more intense. And taking it down. Nice work. Bringing those feet forward. We're gonna rock ourselves forward. We're gonna slowly come into a standing position. Ah, hike that tailbone to the sky. Fold your body in half. Feel that stretch through your spine. Awesome work. Come on up. Coming into a standing position here. I want you to embrace those hands up overhead. I want you to press your palms to the sky. Give yourself a nice twist to one side. Pop the opposite hip and stretch. Take it to the other side. Mm, oh yeah, feels really good, yeah? Take it to the other side one more time. Nice work. And grab yourself hands behind you. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and just gently fold in half. Arms up, coming overhead. Big stretch through those shoulder blades. Fabulous job. Come on up, guys. You're just going to come into a couple of knee hug marches for four. Point the toe and release it. Again, point the toe, release it. One more each side. Point, release. Point, release. Let's compression it out. Roll the shoulders back. And let's come into a nice strong inhale. All the way down, all the way out. Mm. Come into that heart center. Ah, right back to that center, that heart center, that core center. Hope you enjoyed your core, triple core. Very functional, working all different aspects of those abs. All right, I hope you stay well. Hope you keep that core strong, and I will see you in our next workout. Stay well, everybody. Bye.